So welcome back to the channel. We've been out all day uh, riding adventure bikes in the Lake District and we wanted to make a little video just to talk about some of the gear that we've been using and the best gear from Knox for adventure bike riding. So obviously, as you can see, we are on adventure bikes. So obviously this is a pure adventure bike. This one's sort of a bit more dual sporty, isn't it really? But we've had an adventure, haven't we, Ollie? Oh, so. definitely, yeah. It's been a wicked day. We've done all sorts of different trails, rocky, wet, muddy, through a few streams. And yeah, all the bikes have performed really well. Yes, uh, well, they certainly have. Um, I think one of the things that, you know, about adventure bike riding, which is different to sort of any, you know, just road orientated riding or on the other side, just dirt orientated riding is that you have that mixture, yes, don't you? For sure. You know, the adventure bikes, so dual, dual sport, you know, you've got to be able to ride on the road and off it as well. And therefore your gear has got to match that, match that basically, hasn't yeah. it? And, you know, actually that's quite a challenge, really. Sure. Yeah. So riding these bikes today, what do you think we've been up against? Yeah, so two different bikes to be fair when you're riding. Obviously that one you're a little bit more careful, this one you're sort of going for a bit more, but either way, you, you know, you're building up a bit of body temperature, you're sweating. Um, riding off-road is, you know, you burn calories, you're concentrating, you're picking your lines, you're, you know, you're up on your feet, um, so you're, you know, you're, you're going to be building up a bit of a sweat. And um, yeah, I think that's one of the main things, I think, just airflow with, with your kit um, is really, really important. And um, I think, the yeah, pro does that really well. Mm, mm. Um, I think just yeah, just feeding into that, and that is that is a unique thing with with these sort of bikes and how you use them. You know, we had like a twenty mile commute effectively to this trail. You know, a lot of wind blasts. It's, well, while the sun's out, it's, it's not actually that warm, is it? It's not full summer yet. Um, but you know, we do this trail in the winter as well, and yeah, it's quite cold um, on on the commute. So you've got to you know, you've got to be warm in that environment. But the second you get on the trail, it's sort of almost irrespective of which bike you're on, actually, I think, you know, obviously you're not going to do really, really rough stuff on this one because it's too it's too big and, and, and heavy. Yep. Um, but even on the lighter stuff, you know, just maneuvering a big 250 kilo adventure bike around, you know, it takes some muscle and you're going to turn it around, you're going to move it around, you know, it doesn't really matter whatever time of the year, you know, you're going to start creating some, you know, some heat just riding this. Obviously, this one, you're going to take it on rougher stuff. You're going to yep, be going sure. a bit faster. Yep. And therefore, you actually hit the same challenge, don't you? Which yes. is that you're creating a bit of heat and sweating and, and that kind of stuff. So, you know, effectively, we're wearing our Urban Pro. We had our waterproof jacket over the top to get here. Get to the bottom of the trail, whip it off. Ready to go. Ready to go? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, like you said, one thing you notice every time you ride off-road, you are working really hard, so you're gonna get hot really quick. And having that option to just whip off your windproof jacket and just ride, knowing that you're protected against abrasion resistance and impact, um, you know, it's just a, a massive plus. Um, you know, with the Urban Pro, you've got the mesh material, um, which allows the airflow and keeps you cool, or as cool as you can. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been really, really comfortable today riding because you've got that airflow going through you, which is what, you know, you don't necessarily get that with a big, heavy textile jacket. Um, you know, we were talking about multi-layering of different jackets. Um, it's, it's not ideal when you're riding off-road. You know, you've got a big textile jacket. Um, it's not the sort of thing you can just take off and, you know, put in your rucksack. You know, you want to be wearing something you can wear all day long, be comfortable and, um, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, you know, for me, that, that that is what is quite different about our products. And obviously, you're looking at textile big suits with three-piece 
waterproof layer, winter layer, um, you know, well, it's three pieces basically. It's, it's, it's a big, big uh, garment. Obviously that sort of philosophy is derived from road motorcycling because the brands that make them are road motorcycling brands. Hmm. And the bikes are more close to road motorbikes than they are to dirt bikes. I don't think they're the right thing to wear on trails like this because I think you just get too hot, you know. Even in even in the gear that we are in, you know, you're still getting you're still getting warm. Um, and then of course on the other side you've got MX stuff, which is obviously that's derived from from motocross, which they need massive amounts of breathability and airflow and you know movement and lack of restriction and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of protection, it doesn't really offer any, and it exactly. just rips. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't want to ride up here with MX gear. You know, it doesn't provide you any of that protection. Yeah. Um, you know, if you fell off and hurt. You when? Know. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> as we've already seen today. Yeah. When? Yeah. yeah when. For sure. Not if. Yeah. Um, yeah. You are I think actually, every time we've been on the 701 Enduro, <laughs> one of us has crashed it. So, you know. Yes. That says enough, you know, that's a Jeff, 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 Jeff did get uh, bitten by the first gear. Uh, yeah, the, the demon first gear on this bike. If you've got one of these, avoid giving it a handful in yeah. first gear. Thankfully, it's, not... it's all good. So, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's why we're, we've got one uh, hand guard, <laughs> <laughs> one not. But um, luckily, the bike's all fine, Jeff's yeah. all fine. You know, yeah. he's wearing his own pro utility. You know, he rolled over and he just got up and was ready to go again, basically, yeah. which is cool to see. So. So, but the, you know that is the yeah I think it's pretty it's pretty unique um, you know set of uh, environments and actually to be to be honest if you were to think about it um, and and look what they do in other industries you know in the walking industry it's very much about layering up um, and and layering down depending on what you're doing mm. you know and and the reason is well because it works basically you're walking up a mountain actually you don't need very much. Uh, stuff on because you're you know you're 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 working but then when you stop at the top or you slow down or the weather comes in you need to layer up yeah. so you don't freeze put your, to death put your lightweight you know windproof jacket waterproof jacket on top and that's exactly what we did you know like you said it's a 20 odd mile ride here we had the urban pro on we had the uh welbeck waterproof jacket fully waterproof fully windproof and we were fine um, as soon as you got to the bottom of the trail whip it off chuck it in the bag ready to, you know ready to go which is just ideal <laughs> yes and um, the other new product that we've got and this is the first time that we've run this product is the urban pro trousers and effectively that gives you gives you everything that you have from the urban pro shirt that we have in terms of uh, protection abrasion resistance uh, impact protection but it turns it into a trouser instead now usually we have you know to be fair like i personally have been riding in jeans yep. doing this sort of trails yep. um, because again that's giving you road protection off-road effectively. But what this is doing now is giving you obviously a double A rated yes, uh, sure. level of C protection, but also massive amounts of ventilation as well, which is Never. really, really useful. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, you're sat, you're sat down, you're stood up, the, the heat of the engine and the bike does go through your legs sometimes when you're doing the slow stuff. And having that airflow and breathability, it's, it's a massive plus. And I was saying to Jeff earlier, just it's so nice to ride and not be uncomfortable on the bottom half sometimes you know when you, if you're in jeans for example you can get a bit hot um it, it sounds silly but you, you're riding you don't notice they're on but you know you've got the protection yes you know? so and that's exactly what the urban pro shirt does as well you know you've got the air um, mesh fabric you've got the uh, the stretchable fa fabric as well as the impact um protection as well so yeah finishing off the piece is the Urban Pro gloves, so we were literally Urban Pro head to toe. Yeah. The new um, Urban Pro gloves are absolutely fantastic. And again, they follow that philosophy. Um, I think we say on-road protection, off-road feel. Um, and that, that is exactly what they deliver, a massive amount of feel, which is perfect for this, where you really need to get a good feel about what your controls are doing. Definitely. Um, great ventilation and that CE approved on-road protection too. Sure. And of course, the awesome thing about all these products actually they're the same stuff that we wear on any bike that we ride um, whether that's a sports bike a naked bike you know bikes like this obviously what we're talking about um, so it's really really multifunctional stuff multi-use stuff that you as the rider can get a huge amount of use 
So we're going to put all of the links in the description for all the gear that we've been talking about. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. We're going to go off and finish this trail now and have a few more smiles yet. So please like, please subscribe, please let us know what you think and we'll see you next time. See you on the next one.